Coach, you guys had a tough opening couple of games, losing to both Niagara and Colgate. Talk about your overall thoughts of the game and some of the things you, you liked about your team. Niagara, we really worked hard and, you know, we, we did all the little things we could do. You know, obviously there's always a loose ball you can get or, um, you know, a big play you could take, a charge or whatever. But we, we really worked hard, I thought, and, um, and we just fell a little bit short. I think our youth down the stretch uh, hurt us with, you know, knowing what to do at the end of the game. Uh, we've gone over a lot of things in practice about trying to simulate situations that we were in in that first game with it being close. Um, and, um, you know, we did get some shots down the stretch, but, uh, you know, Spinu obviously had to force up some stuff as they were doubling and triple teaming her. And, um, you know, we were a little young in that aspect as far as we didn't run things exactly the way we were supposed to. And I think it cost us. Um, but we, we, we battled back. And uh, that's a positive is that, you know, Niagara uh, had a big run at the end of the first half, took the lead mm -hmm. and uh, hit a buzzer beater and everything was going their way, momentum into the locker room. But we came back out in the second half, got down as much as nine and came all the way back and uh, was right there at the end. So, um, you know, Niagara was a formidable opponent and we took them to the wire. Um, so we were very happy with that. In the game against Colgate, Kelly Hartwell led the team with 14 points. We haven't really talked about her much, even especially in the preseason interview we did last week. What can we expect to see from her this season, and is that offensive production what you're hoping for out of her? She goes like Kelly goes in like spurts where she goes off, and then she and then you know she goes quiet for a while. So we're trying to really bottle that energy and let her know that you know she can't just turn it on and off like she's had the luxury of doing in the past with having other players around her with experience. Now she's the experienced player and we look to her as a junior, as someone that's been here two years in the system and she's played both years. You know, she's somebody as a freshman, got big minutes early on and you know, she needs to utilize that, you know, that experience and, and it's time now where she starts to say that, you know, I can't lean on someone else to pick me up if I'm not, you know, having that game. I gotta I gotta let my team know that they can count on me. So, you know, we're trying to work with her with that and understanding that we need her to go out there and, and run the floor and use her athleticism. And, you know, against Colgate, she did that. You know, she got ahead of the ball, got the ball up to her. She pulled up off the dribble. You know, she came in and got some big offensive rebounds. And, you know, she had a good game for herself. But we need that steady, you know, that steady performance from her. And uh, we're working hard to try to get that. With the game at Colgate, it started a four-game road trip, a pretty tough road trip against some tough teams. Talk about being on the road as a team, especially as a young team, and some of the challenges and benefits that come along with that. Well, There's definitely a lot more challenges than benefits. Um, we, really, uh, we really are going to be traveling, I think they said we're going to cover over 6,000 miles in the next eight to ten games or something. And, um, you know, a lot of road games and going to some big, big schools. So um, I think the best thing it'll do for us is it'll force our youth to, to understand that they're going to have to grow up fast and have to work really hard. And I think it's going to make them a lot tougher. You know, we're going to walk in and, and to, you know, into Michigan State uh, the arena and, just, and we're going to walk into Iowa's arena. We're going to walk into Minnesota's arena. You know, we're going to play uh, Duquesne. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Miami of Ohio this Thursday and play against a tough Miami of Ohio team. Um, they're gonna have to grow up fast. They're gonna have to realize that, you know, their their inefficiencies. They're gonna have to work harder and practice every day, and they're gonna have to come into these games and, and have no fear. And we're gonna get to see, you know, what our young players are made of early on in their career. Who who's gonna be someone that's gonna step up and say, hey, I'm gonna be the face of this team, or I'm gonna be one of the many faces of this team, or who's gonna say, hey, you know, I'm not ready yet to beat out there. So uh, we're going to learn a lot. So that's the, one of the biggest challenges I think that we face. But it also could be a benefit because you know we go into these places that are big challenges and we win some games and we show well out there. You know that's that's going to only boost our confidence going into the NEC conference season. You mentioned you guys have Miami of Ohio on Thursday. What can we expect to see from them? And what's the key for you guys to get that first win? You know I haven't watched them on film yet. We're going to get more into that today. Um, since we, yesterday was a day that we really worked on worrying about what we did wrong against Colgate. And instead of moving past what we did wrong and just fo we're focusing on the opponent, we worked on us yesterday. So today, I'm going to watch a, a lot of film. I'll be here till all hours, and we'll, we'll figure it out. But from remembering them from the years in the past, um, the same coach has been there for the last 15 years, and she uh, has a very high-powered offense. They push the ball. They're up the floor very, very fast. 
I remember them kind of being like, a, you know, the NCAA women's basketball version of the Phoenix Suns back when they had Steve Nash. And they got the ball out and they pushed it. And people were looking to score quickly and they forced you to defend and they forced you to score. Um, so we're going to have to realize that, you know, we're going to, we might get some points, but we have to get back and we have to worry about the defensive end because if you get caught in that up and down game with them from the years in the past, from what I remember, they're, they're very, very tough. It's very hard to outscore this team. So we better be ready to defend. We better be ready to really be physical on defense because, uh, you know, their style of play benefits them a ton. Great. Thanks, Coach.